Let's uh, let's cook some food real quick. I think one plank is one and a half um, uses, uh, whereas a piece of coal is like eight. So yeah, I just kind of wasted that one. But okay, we'll go ahead and cook one more. They don't stack like in the newer versions of the game, unfortunately. But um, all right, so we'll grab that. We won't worry about that for a minute. We have some cooked food, which means that heals more hearts. Um, let's see. Uh, is here. Uh, what am I doing? I need to do, 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 make torches. Yes, so we can use the smaller one for that. Where? Okay, torches are over here. Um, uh -huh. so we get four for each one. I'll just do twelve for now. And save that other piece of charcoal to. Uh, Go ahead and I guess cook up. Well, no, that'd be wasteful. Let me go ahead and uh, use this to cook up the iron. That should be enough. Might not be. Let's go ahead and give it some more. There we go. All right, so let's have a look down in here. Now that we have torches, we should uh, go ahead and put one here to mark our area. Right. Oh. Okay. There's there's nothing really here. In this cave, it dead ends. But it would make a good first home I believe because night is going to come and I haven't found any sheep so if I could do that real quick actually uh, it's getting close but let's let's go look for sheep real quick um, for those of you wondering the equivalent of holding shift and sneaking is uh, clicking down on the right stick and it stays in that position. You have to actually click it again to get out of that position. Alright, there's another cave there. Any sheep around? I don't want to stay out here too long. Um, as far as the mobs go, zombies have the extra long arm reach that they had, of course, back then. Uh, skeletons are worse at aiming, though, so they're less of an obstacle. Wolves, hello! Hello, wolves. Hi. I forgot you guys were, were this far back. Definitely, we'll try to get uh, bones from a skeleton and uh, get us some wolves. Okay, it doesn't look like um, there's any sheep around here, unless I'm blind. So, uh, looks like we'll be hiding probably for the night. I might fight a few monsters, but... My health is not going to regenerate like in the current version of Minecraft. I have to use food to keep my health up, and uh, I don't want to go through my whole supply of food for nothing. Okay, let's just look over here real quick, see if we see any, uh, any sheep. Whew, it gets dark in a hurry. I might go ahead and, for the sake of the recording, bump up the uh, gamma to make this a little bit easier for you guys to see. We'll put it on 80. All right, yeah, you guys can see a little bit better. Still dark enough for monsters to spawn, though. Saw a zombie over there. Actually, I think I saw a sheep over there too. Uh, looks like that's gonna be where we're going. Then looks like we may have to fight a bit. Okay, so those of you who are new, zombies are very, very standard. They only hurt you by mm, getting close to you. But it was kind of a glitch back in this era that. Um, they could reach you without even being in. seeming like they could but if you stand and just keep clicking um, you pretty much will get them they drop feathers for some unexplained reason back then nowadays they drop uh, zombie flesh but anyway um I really want to get that sheep so we'll kill this guy and whoops <laughs> All you have to do is punch the sheep in this older version to get the wool. You don't have to uh, do anything else. This is a creeper. They will explode if you give them the chance. I'm gonna try not to. Yes. They don't drop experience in this version, so I don't know why I'm going after that. He didn't drop any gunpowder. Um, okay, another sheep. So. We don't want to hurt him, so we'll just we'll just punch him. All right, that's that's enough for a bed, so that's good. Let's make our way over here. I did see a um, uh, oh, there was some coal right over there. Anyway, I did see a skeleton milling around over here by our base. Yeah, 
All right, we'll take a skeleton on. Skeletons, of course, shoot arrows, but they're pretty bad at it. As long as you keep moving, you probably won't get hit. It's amazing I've only been hurt by a zombie thus far, and only because of his glitchy hitbox. But anyway, go ahead and kill this pig and get his food. Um, all right, let's get our uh, stuff here real quick. We'll, uh, nope. Always forget these buttons. It'll become second nature before long, though. Alright, I don't have my axe out, so I'll just use my sword to break the workbench down. I'm gonna take this indoors. Make sure those arrows you cannot pick up. You can pick up your own if you miss and you just see them stuck in the ground, but you can't pick up a skeleton's arrows. Uh, there's also spiders, which we haven't seen yet. They drop string, which you can use for a bow and for a fishing rod. This is a cow, of course. Didn't want to make this too tutorial-ish, but I do know that a lot of people will be seeing it on Xbox Live Arcade and thinking, what the heck is this game? Maybe I should try to find a video that will explain it. So I'm trying to help out the uh, the new people <laughs> to Minecraft. Uh, yeah, when you mine stone, it becomes cobblestone. You can turn it back into smooth stone uh, by smelting it in the furnace. Anyway, this is going to be our base. Um, it's not the best base in the world. We can expand it some. We can even uh, dig a bit for a mine shaft. But uh, let's see. First, let's um, we can well, we can make a bed and make the night go away. So I should go ahead and do that. This also resets our spawn point. Um, basically, what that means is before, if you died, I'd end up over there on the beach where I first appeared. But this way. I will appear where my bed is, so long as the bed isn't obstructed or broken. Um, oh, iron. <laughs> nice. Alright, I'm going to place it here. Uh, I'm going to actually get rid, of <laughs> get rid of that torch so that I can pull this wall back so there's nothing obstructing the bed. Clear all this out. Alright. Grab this iron. A hair spider, that'll be good. He won't go away when the sun comes up, but skeletons and zombies burn up unless they're in water or in shade. Um, creepers and spiders will stay. Spiders will become neutral unless you hit them. Creepers will still hate you. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a snooze. Sometimes in these older versions, you can get attacked by monsters if you leave an opening or if you don't have enough light and they'll interrupt your sleep but we were fine we'll take a quick look outside let's be careful there isn't a creeper waiting on us we'll run ouch spider was waiting on us and then turned DOS out <laughs> but, nope ow no don't kill me all right got his string that's good skeleton I need bones from you man uh, as you saw up in the corner, Minecraft does auto-save every now and then. And of course you can do a force save. And uh, so that's good. Yes, okay, so we have a bone. I want to get a couple more before I try to get a wolf. Usually it takes more than one to tame a wolf. Um, alright. Let's see. What can I do? What can I do? We've made it day. We reset our spawn. Need to do some other mundane test tasks, sorry. Like make a chest and then I need to go collect some more wood so we'll make this chest real quick or I made it let's place it real quick and then we can dump off some of this stuff that we don't need oh, buttons seriously all right we'll stick this here and let's uh okay there's our map I'll show you that in a second we need that let's put the string we'll, I'll place the furnace a little bit this stuff, this stuff, extra food I don't think I'll need. Leather that we got from the cow. Uh, I will need the dirt. I should smelt that iron, but we'll worry about that in a bit too. Alright, that's good. Um, let's go ahead and, and I'll show you how the, the map thing works. I don't want to put it in that hand because it'll start immediately. Um, our spawn point being right around here so I'll just stand here on the beach and we'll switch to our map and it'll immediately generate in so you can see 
we're close to the bottom corner of the map. If we went in that direction, we'll hit the invisible wall shortly. But there's all kinds of unexplored spaces this way. But yeah, the map basically clearly shows... Um, let me go ahead and actually eat something. Whoop, there we go. Uh, the map clearly shows your borders as far as the 1000 by 1000 area and um, there's nothing else beyond that as of now um, like I say I'm pretty sure that will change okay we need to find a cave so I can show you some caving 